This is Dr. Sam Benjamin, your host on Primary Care. We all age, and with time, our skin shows aging, an inevitable fact. This is the first installment of my series of What is Aging Skin? In future segments, we're going to explore what you can do about it. Can you turn back the clock on aging skin? Can you? What can you do? What can you do to make your skin more youthful? One thing, this is the real deal. I'm talking to you about the real stuff. So if you want fantasy land and empty promises, look for the thousands of ads on the internet filled with unsubstantiated claims and dream on. Einstein contemplated time travel, but I, well, I have yet to see anyone reverse the time clock of aging. You can, however, make your skin look much better as you age. Now, you gotta understand this a little. The main reason that skin looks older, wrinkled, rough, changed tone, or sprinkled with dark spots isn't the age itself, but sun exposure. You live in Arizona? What does that mean? The damage to your skin caused by UV, ultraviolet radiation from the sun, is called photoaging, which causes wrinkles. Everyone with time gets expression lines, sagging skin, and thin wrinkles thanks to our genetic time clock, which is coupled with photoaging. In addition, smoking dramatically ages skin in the facial area, no exceptions. If you're a young person starting to smoke, beware. I mentioned that UV, ultraviolet radiation, causes decreased tone, and this is because it reduces blood vessels below the skin, it's called the dermis, and they supply nutrients. In addition, photoradiation damages collagen and elastin, which are vital for good skin tone. You've heard this in all the ads, collagen, elastin. Ultraviolet radiation also creates oxidation, which adds to stress the cells below the skin. And there are different kinds of ultraviolet light, but UVA, Ultraviolet A rays are longer and they penetrate deeper. UVB rays are thought to be more superficial and responsible for sunburn and tanning. You need a limited amount of UVA rays to help activate vitamin D, very important. UVA rays are strongest between 10 and three. I typically recommend to my patients that they get whole body radiation or nearly whole body radiation, be careful, when possible for no more than uh, 10, 15 minutes to activate vitamin D but avoid too much radiation, too much exposure, because that could increase your risk of getting skin cancer. Now, choosing a sunblock is important for decreasing the damage, but it's a whole other issue that we're gonna discuss later in this series. The FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, has recently acceded to the industry making this stuff and lobbying pressures, pushing back the date when honest labeling will be required so that you'll be able to actually know what blocks really work and how potent they really are. Right now, you could be getting protection against the damaging sun's rays, or you may not be adequately protected with the block that you and your family are using. How about your kids? In my next segment, I'm going to talk about moisturizers or emollients that introduce moisture into the skin or keep moisture in so that you can be sure you watch segment two. You really want to do that. Why? Because I'm going to teach you how you can moisturize your skin. Check it on your computer screen, cell phone, iPad. I don't care how you do it. But definitely tune in to the next segments to really get an education. This is Dr. Sam Benjamin with medical news you can use.